This is the first episode of A Sort of History in Three Minutes or Less. We'll be looking at Alcibiades from ancient Athens, arguably the most interesting person in history. Let's start the clock. Alcibiades is one of the most interesting, self-centred, destructive and probably sociopathic individuals in history. Why? Let's try putting yourself in his shoes. You're a beautiful looking boy that will grow into a beautiful looking man, born into a powerful family in ancient Athens, the birthplace of democracy and the wealthiest, most luxurious city of the ancient Greek world. Well, obviously no part of that is you, apart from possibly the gender, but let's pretend it was for a moment. What would you do? If you're Alcibiades, you get adopted by the most prominent politician in all of Athens, Pericles, after your father dies in war. Pericles is a cousin of yours, someone who genuinely cares about Athens as a city and as a concept but you ignore all his feelings on the subject because he probably ignored you. He's going to die in a plague anyway. You get the flute banned from being taught in schools because you don't like an instrument that gets in the way of people gazing at your beautiful face. You become a student at Socrates and his most prominent failure as a teacher, sleeping with him, then getting rejected by him due to your lack of ethics. He saves your life in battle and you his. You become a politician, a soldier and a warmonger in general. You almost single-handedly sabotage a peace treaty with Sparta as a tantrum, simply because no one asks you to be part of the negotiations. You then follow that up by helping force the second part of one of the most famous wars of all time, the Peloponnesian War, by deciding to invade Sicily. All this despite having some Spartan blood and wanting to reinstate a position that helps look after the interests of Spartan citizens in Athens. After essentially kicking the war off, you switch sides to Athens' most hated enemy, Sparta, because your Athenian enemies falsely accuse you of smashing the dicks off of gods, whilst really you were just too busy smashing your own private parts into anything with a pulse to care much about the nether regions of imaginary sky daddies. You then help Sparta destroy parts of your homeland, and cause other parts to rebel, because you're a dick. Your wife leaves you and moves in with her brother, because, again, you are a dick. You then switch sides to a third party, Persia, which is impressive in a two-party war, not that you had much choice as you were sleeping with the Spartan king's wife and he was not exactly Will Bloody Smith about it. You get Persia to ally with a hated enemy, Sparta, whilst advising Persia on how to win versus both Sparta and Athens. You plot an overthrow of democracy in Athens so you can come back, though the co-conspirators kick you out of the conspiracy then, realising they had nothing better to do with their evenings, they overthrow democracy anyway. You arrange another overthrow of democracy in another part of the Athenian Empire, but you get recalled as a general there so you decide that actually you like people having a vote because you've realised people are idiots who will vote for just about anything. You lead Athens to many victories before a crushing defeat, get exiled again, and eventually get assassinated by Persia at the request of Sparta, because your old bosses never forgave you for running off with their office supplies, or sleeping with their wives and leading armies against them. People can be petty like that. Do all this and you would be the most interesting man in history, because you would be Alcibiades. You, the person watching this video, will achieve none of that, because you're at home in your underwear watching videos on YouTube about people that actually achieve things. I know that they say to picture the audience naked, but I don't want that image of you in my brain. Well, that was under three minutes, so at least I achieved something. Our next video will be on the Greek god Hermes, and I hope to go more in depth on Alcibiades at some point in the near future, so please let me know in the comments below which aspects of his life you would like me to go into more depth on. In the meantime, please hit that subscribe button to catch the videos as they come out, and check out last week's video on the Norse creation myth. It features giant cows, the formation of the CIA, and mojitos. Link in the video description below.